Ladies and gentlemen, it's got worse, and I need to talk about this. This is one of the worst things I've ever seen on the internet ever, and this honestly needs to be fixed. So I'm coming in to make this video. His room got dirtier, okay? I thought it would get better. Maybe the internet backlash would have made him clean his room and tidy up a little bit. Maybe fucking grab a power wash and just sprayed his whole room, but that didn't happen. Instead, this happened. Cleaning my room as a Roblox streamer. First, I get started with the bed stand. This is where I have all my waters for my daily hydration. Yeah, bro's room got dirtier. He didn't clean shit. As you can see, it's cleaned up. I'm getting the floor clean now. Still got a long way to go. Holy shit, you're gonna be in that room all day cleaning that. I hope you know that. Gee. After I made my first video on this guy, I thought it was satire. I thought he was just doing this to be one big troll, but he has maybe six videos of him cleaning his room now, and they all look equally as dirty. So if it is a troll, he's a dedicated troll, but I'm starting to think this guy is just the dirtiest human alive. His room looks like a wasteland. I then grab the vacuum after picking up most everything. Still got some stuff on the side to tidy up. And now my Roblox streams are ready to resume. I love Roblox, I love Roblox, I love Roblox. Hey, make your bed, motherfucker. Cleaning my room as a Roblox streamer. Again. Jesus Christ. First, I went over what we have. We have a roach infestation. <laughs> Bro, are you sure you don't need to get gallons of bleach and then shove it in a water pressure machine and then attach a hose to it to just power wash your whole entire room, the walls, floor, ceiling, everything, the whole fucking room because that's crazy. There's people in jail that are sitting in that cell for life that keep better care of their cell than you do your room. How? Bro, you need to be slapped. I think that might be the only way you take better care of your room. I have no idea. I'm losing hope for you. I don't think it's caused by me. I think it's just a really invasive. Yeah? <laughs> Roaches just wanted to come say hi? They didn't smell every single option at a five-star buffet in your room? This guy's fucking delusional. We've got some bowls we have to clean up. Um, found this hot dog. <laughs> July 4th. Alright, we clean up this chair. Get some of these bowls down. That's a little crusted on. Might need to soak it in some hot water first. We have some frappuccinos. Looks like something tried growing in here. Not on my watch. Well, it did already grow in there, so pretty shitty watch. Not on my watch. Now we got some snack trays, gotta clean these up. Don't want my dog to eat them. I think he already did, some of it's missing. Your dog is dead. Found a little baby roach trying to get away. Sorry honey, didn't mean to leave that down there. <laughs> he does have a girlfriend. Yo, hey man. I hope y'all enjoy the swamp together when y'all get moved in. Hey chat, how much y'all wanna bet that she's as dirty as he is? Like y'all think her room is two times dirtier? Let me know in the comments. Hope you don't mind. All right, well, that's about it. The room's pretty clean now. We've made a lot of good progress, so we're just going to finish up another day. I'm pretty exhausted, so stay tuned. Sloths don't even achieve the level of laziness that this guy's achieved. And it's not even an achievement. It's a fucking failure. Bro can't pick up a few bags just because, oh, my heart hurts. Push-ups, now. Cleaning my room, part two. I'm a Roblox streamer, and my room gets really messy. Look at that milk. M milk? I don't even know what to say about that. That's not very good. Found a free bag of chips and they're not even expired yet. This is the best day ever. Gotta get these trash bags. This milk, don't, don't lean over. It does not smell very good. Yeah, stop showing it on the screen. Stop. Throw that shit in the sink. Actually, don't even throw that shit in the sink because then your whole kitchen is going to smell like shit. Drive all the way to your local junkyard with that cup of shitty ass milk and just throw it in there. That's where it belongs. That's basically where your whole room belongs by this point. I don't know why. I poured some coke in it to try to make it smell better. Found my nail clippers too. Look how bad my nails get when I don't have nail clippers and I use my fingers. It really hurts. I don't like it very much. Yeah, this guy isn't a troll. He's dead ass. He lives like this. He lives like a fucking Grinch. Anyway, bringing the dishes down. Got some trash bags filled up. This smells really bad. I don't know what this is. I think it was coffee at one point, but now it's like a syrup. Look at these coffees. Some of them look bad, some look good. I think it's based on how long they've been there. This looks like syrup too. I don't know how I'm gonna get this out of the cup. I might have to throw it away. You see that chat? Am I the only one who sees it? I know you see it too. Marble floors. Which means this guy lives in a really nice house 
and he just treats his room like shit. What is up with this guy's parents? I have to do an interview with him. I have to fly out to where this guy lives and meet his parents, have a deep discussion with them about values and principles in life, because I practically have to raise this fucking kid through these videos by this point. I never thought I would see somebody like this that isn't a troll, like this guy's really living like this. Never thought I'd see it. But, uh, you know, I'm here now. Hey, bro, if you're watching this video, I'd love to conduct an interview with your parents. I got a few questions for them that I'd like answered, so hit me up. Anyway, got the rest of the trash bags. I'm going to go ahead and take them out. Don't forget to wash your hands after cleaning your room. It's very good for your hygiene. Anyway, thanks for watching. I shaved my eyebrows. Bye. Cleaning underneath my bed as a Roblox streamer. Oh, fuck. Don't even get me started. All right, we're going in. had a roach in. infestation recently. Damn. And I found a roach underneath my bed. Damn. Gotcha, you, little bugger. He laid eggs what on me. What the That's fuck is on your finger? Anyway, my glue trap was oh, nice it's and a filled trap. with a spider oh, in it, Oh, I'm dumb. Okay. I should have made him a pet. I forgot to do my homework, but luckily I use Pixolve. It helps me with all of my hardest problems, even the word ones in science and history. So water is the answer for that. I found some crackers on the floor, which is pretty cool. But the roach eggs kind of made it salty, which I didn't hey, like. You know one thing about cheating in school? Because don't get me wrong, I'm not I'm not innocent. I'm guilty too. I did it all the time throughout high school, college, pretty much everything. Even the tests sometimes. But I had this thought the other day. I think cheating in school is becoming super popular now. Like with Photomath and all these other apps. Are people just going to get really stupid because we're just going to rely on cheating all the time? Especially with AI coming in. Or is that a thought that nobody wants to think about because they're too scared to think about that? Okay, yeah. Y'all just want to keep cheating, I hear you. Taking a shower as a Roblox streamer. A roach decided to die on my toothbrush, which was kind of rude, but a man does have to brush, after all. Anyway, my roach infestation has somehow managed to reach the bathroom, so I gotta take this dead roach out of the tub before I can shower. I read that sending them down the drain is bad for the environment, so I just flush them instead. Anyway, starting up the bath, and I realize I forgot my homework. I have Pixolve to help me with all of my word problems. It makes it so much easier. Yeah, this guy's sponsoring by this point. Next. Yo, as cool as it is being noticed by Keemstar, it'd be nice if he didn't call me a her. Do I look like a woman? I'm a Roblox streamer, and today I'm going to the dentist. First off, I need to get my car fixed, but that's for another day. I've made it to the dentist now. They told me that I need to brush my teeth before they can do my teeth because apparently it was really dirty. I think they were just being really rude though. I don't think they like me. What are you talking about? They make everybody- Whoa! Okay, yeah, no, they were right. Uh, but what I was saying was they make everybody do that before they do a little appointment with them. They make everybody brush their teeth. But for you, eh, they're doing you a favor. At the end of the day, I hope one thing that you've learned through this video is to be a hygienic person and take good care of your body and your room. And yeah, because, you know, we like looking at people online who sometimes fail in those areas. And I hope they do better like this guy. But uh, yeah, it's it's a good reminder for ourselves to keep keep doing what we're doing. Keep washing your hands. Keep cleaning the rooms. Keep brushing the teeth. And yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Make sure you guys take it easy. Uh, and yeah, see you.